MEV on the Binance Smart Chain. Many people have asked me how to do MEV on the Binance Smart Chain because it's even more active than Ethereum. Two or three seconds, they are sending hundreds of transactions, which is about four times more than Ethereum. So naturally, there are a lot of people interested in how to extract value from the transactions, how to make money on Binance Smart Chain. And I'm going to talk to you about how it is not only it is possible, but it is very profitable if you do it right. And I'm going to give you an overview of how the MEV system looks like, ecosystem looks like on Binance Smart Chain and what you need to do to become a validator, to become a sandwich bot or an arbitrage bot or a liquidator and start making money from it. So the Binance Smart Chain, as you can see, it has its own scanner. If we take a look at the transactions, well, before even taking a look at the transactions, we can see a bunch of validators. Alan Turing, Avengers, Legends, Fury, 48 Club. And the validators are the ones that organize the transactions however they want from the mempool into the final block. So they are the ones that are controlling the MEV. They are the ones that you need to reach out to in order to create MEV opportunities. Hope that's clear. I'm not going to talk to you about how to submit bundles or what type of validators do you need to use because that's, you know, that's some privileged information and I don't want to disclose too much. But I'm going to give you an overview of the type of MEV that can be done on Binance. Here you can see a ton of transactions and most of them are transfers, random things like hit or whatever. You don't care about that. You care about the ones where the pancake swap is involved because that's the main swap exchange that's available compared to Uniswap on Ethereum, Pancake Swap, it's also on Ethereum, but it's the main one on Binance Smart Chain. So when you see one of them, when you see the Pancake name, you know that there is an MEV opportunity there. In this case, someone is selling the token or D4 BNB. If you have the token, you can sell it and then buy it again for a profit. But that's about it. You should create a bot that is able to decode the buy data to see, okay, how much is the user willing to accept, the slippage, what tokens are being swapped and all of that. This is for sandwich. And here's another one. In this case, you will be able to buy using BNB and sell the token for a profit. I don't know about the slippage here, but considering that the gas costs are very small, you see 0 0.04, you can even send regular transactions without MEV because the loss is very li little. At worst, you keep the tokens for a while. At best, you front run and then back run the transaction and make a profit from with the help of validators. But the problem with validators is that on Binance, they are not free. They take a commission, they want a payment of a, a fixed amount and some more. But yeah, let's take a look at some. Now here, this is a um, swap and start bridge. I don't know about the LeFi protocol, but if you explore it, if you read deep into how it works, you will probably find an MEV opportunity because they combine liquidity across multiple chains. Which means you are able to detect opportunities where there is liquidity involved and extract that through MEV. I'm not going to go into specifics because I'm not familiar with this protocol, but that's the idea. You find a protocol, maybe token file, you know, one of them, you take a look at how it works and when there is tokens being swapped or something else like liquidations, you create a bot that automatically executes those transactions and makes a profit for you. Even here, you see, the good thing about Pancake is that it's a very big DeFi tool. It has predictions, it has futures, it has swaps. In this case, they're using predictions, which means you can detect the sentiment and even benefit from that key information just by reading the transactions. Just reading the pending transactions gives you an advantage about 
which tokens are about to go up or down based on this prediction system. I don't know how it works, but that's how that's the idea. There's also Paraswap, a big one. And yeah, you can see here there are many swaps being done in one. So right there is a an MEV opportunity. You gotta detect how Paraswap works. You gotta analyze it. You see what types of swaps are involved. In this case, for some reason they're very complex. I don't know why. But you understand how it works and then you develop a bot from it. The good thing about Binance is that there are many different protocols, the main one being PancakeSwap, of course. And if you just want to do something simple, create a, a sandwich bot targeting Uniswap V2, I mean PancakeSwap V2 transactions, because those are the ones that are the easiest to decode. And yeah, that's how you make your money. You, you read the transactions in the past, you see opportunities, and then you make a profit from that. It, I'm not going to give you exactly how it works, but the idea is this, the same as on Ethereum. The only difference is that you submit it to specific validators that two at the moment. And most times they won't be the ones creating the block because there are just a few, there are 21 validators and they are more distributed than, than on Ethereum, which means many times the block builder won't be the one that allows MEV, so you need to send a regular transaction, making sure the gas is on point so that it's ordered the right way, and that's how you make your money on, on Binance Smart Chain. There are many other blockchains, but this is the best one if you want to scale up your efforts and start making money. The only difference is that on Binance Smart Chain, the transactions you will find are, they are smaller in value. I don't know, it's because people use it less or what but that's what I discovered hope this has been helpful make sure to subscribe click on the like button activate the notifications and join my email list while where I will keep you updated on the new developments and new videos I'm gonna make a few more videos about Binance Smart Chain because it's a very interesting topic and there's a lot of things going on on there I'm not gonna reveal all the secrets, I'm just gonna reveal some information so that you can run with it. See you soon.